super super exciting for me to film for um, a couple reasons actually. First of all because this is the first video I am filming on my brand new DSLR camera and also I have a brand new kind of background which is really cool but also everything right now is kind of trial and error so if there's anything that you really love or really hate or like have some ideas to change please let me know in the comments down below it would mean the world to me. And the other reason that this video is so exciting is, you already know this because you had to click on the video and like read the title to get here, but uh, I'm gonna make it a surprise anyway. Uh, drumroll please. I'm in a magazine! Ah! <laughs> Yay! Give me confetti. Confetti! Yay! I'm in a magazine. Um, so I was super, super honored to be featured in the summer 2019 Geek Chic issue of K-Club, which is a wonderful, wonderful zine centered around um, kawaii culture and J fashion and things of that sort. And I've literally been reeling since they emailed me like, hey, do you want to be in our magazine? Can we interview you? Because I didn't think that would happen. I didn't think I was cool enough for that. <laughs> um, and also, I love the people that run K-Club so much. They are all wonderful people. I'm actually wearing a pin with Callie's art right now. Um, so yes, I. everyone else in this magazine is super cool and I'm just like, oh, I'm in there. That's me. <laughs> um, so I know that Pixie Locks, who is on the cover, has already done a video about K-Club and her video is super, super cute and you should absolutely check it out but I am really excited because I am in it, and so I'm gonna make my own video anyway. <laughs> and also some people on Instagram asked me questions about it. So one of the questions that I was asked on Instagram is what kind of things you can find in K-Club itself, and that was asked by Magical Voltage. And while I am not going to give you guys like a full rundown of everything in here because I think that you should check it out for yourself, I will give you kind of a little peek into it because I'm really excited to be part of this and I want to share some of the amazing things in there and encourage you guys to get it yourself. So here's the cover and the table of contents. And there I am just like chilling at the top of the table of contents like, hello, that's me. What? That's my face. Um, but the general rundown of things that you can find in this issue of K-Club are things like lookbooks, quizzes, horoscopes, convention and cosplay tips, interviews, and also lots and lots of amazing art from amazing artists. Uh, seriously, this is an amazing project and everyone who is involved is amazing and I am so thrilled to be a part of it. Anyway, um, there's also a, um, a Spotify playlist in here that I'm not going to show because you got to get the magazine for that. But I was listening to it actually getting ready to film this and I've been listening to it a whole bunch the past couple of days and I can 110% recommend, recommend this. Um, Jade and Callie, you guys have amazing music taste. I approve. Good content. The headers for all of the interview articles are so adorable. Like, I cannot get over how cute this is. Hello? You guys' design is amazing, but also, like, this is so lovely and wonderful, and I cannot wait to read all of the interviews in here uh, more in depth because they all seem so amazing and they are all from people that I think are super cool. It's the horoscope page. Um, let's see. It's Give Me a Sign by Kit Love Notes to me. I'm a Taurus, by the way, in case you were wondering. You are generous, kind, and patient. These qualities make you a fantastic friend. Your down-to-earth nature lets you give some great advice to those who ask for it. Aww. Let's see, wait, hang on. I'm gonna look for my, um, my moon sign and my rising sign. So my moon sign is Pisces. You have the best imagination in the whole zodiac. You could make art with only a stick, an old shoe, and paint. <laughs> It is true. As a kid, I would make dolls out of old socks, yarn, markers, and solo cups. And I loved those dolls to death. <laughs> you're soft and sensitive, but once you stop crying, you're ready to fight for those you love. 
Yeah, once I stop crying. I could never cry for like less than an hour. Usually I'll cry for like three hours straight. It's a problem. And my rising is Scorpio. Are you a mind reader? <gasps> Your intuition and passion are unmatched by any other sign, making you hard to fool. Your ambition is key to your success. Tap into it and you'll be unstoppable. Oh, that's nice. I've been told I'm very intuitive. I do like to read tarot, so that's cool. There is a really cool article on enforced positivity in the J fashion community. So I am really excited to read this because I think that as a whole, there is a big problem in a lot of online communities with not only trying to be the like the most exciting, fun, positive version of yourself, but also trying to shut down any real emotion or discussion for the sake of like wholesomeness and positivity and fun. And I am very excited to read this because that is a good topic. See, again with the beautiful the beautiful interview design. This is Callie's article about Precure, which is a series that I have been meaning to get into, but I have procrastinated on basically every piece of media that I've tried to get into. The last thing that I got really invested in was Welcome to Night Vale back when it was really big on Tumblr. So that is how long I've been procrastinating on getting into new things. Please keep that in mind. <laughs> But I have been really meaning to get into Precure. I keep starting seasons and then forgetting to finish them. So far out of the ones I have started, Go Princess is my favorite though. So if any of you guys want to give me some suggestions for where to start, things that will engage my horribly ADHD brain so that I won't forget about watching them, please let me know. If anyone wants to do a Precure watch party with me, also please let me know because I think that would be really fun. But um, I cannot get over how freaking cute all of these articles are because like, hello? I mean, honestly, even if I wasn't interested in the articles in this, which I am, I would buy it just to like look at it because it's so beautiful and wonderful and good. Ooh, we have five tips every cosplayer should know. And uh, among the questions I was asked, a few of them were cosplay tips. So let's take a look at this real quick. Plan ahead. Yeah, that's a tip I need because I am very bad at planning ahead. Um, I will sometimes like spend way too long on one thing and then completely forget to do the rest of it until like the night before. I am no stranger to con crunching. Don't do that kids. Sleep deprivation is no joke. Um, keep a budget. <sighs> cosplay can get very expensive very fast. I keep having to change my cost plans because of cost and it makes me sad but also now that I am an adult kind of who has to keep track of my own money and has college to worry about. I actually have to seriously, seriously worry about <laughs> cosplay and stuff now that I have other expenses. Um, accuracy is not mandatory. I agree. I used to be obsessed with everything being accurate and perfect and exact, and that's not fun. It is way more fun to come up with your own designs and put your own spin on it than to be accurate. And also, like, I feel like a lot of people use accuracy as a way to like bully people out of cosplaying certain characters and that's dumb and mean. Don't do that. Um, explore materials and techniques. A thing I have been meaning to do. Very good suggestion. Always good to learn things. Ignore the haters. Yes. I have a lot of feelings about the cosplay community right now. Maybe one day I'll talk about it. Perhaps. Also there is this gorgeous art directly next to that that I am absolutely in love with. It is from, hello, at Paint Dust. I wonder if you could use her name. <gasps> it's a pink pastel Junko. Hello, I cosplay things like that. That's exciting and very cute. I kind of want to cosplay this outfit, but also I need, I, I, I keep cosplaying Junko and I don't know anything about Danganronpa. I have watched the first season of the anime and played through the first two trials and that is it. That is all I know about Danganronpa. I'm sorry, I'm a fake fan. There is a DIY for an accessory organizer. I super need new accessory organizers for my dorm. And this is like insanely cute, look at this. So uh, maybe I will do this, hello, that'd be fun. And there's me <laughs> and Haru. And also, I hope I'm saying this right, Estelle? Um, they interviewed all three of us for this article on pastel cosplay. I'm just like right there on the cover page. Hello, that's me and Haru. That's crazy. Uh, 
I, okay, so Decor a Trickster was a thing that was like really fun and exciting to do and I was really excited to make it, but then it like, we won honorable mention at the Japan Fest cosplay contest and then it ended up on the cover of an article in K Club and also in the table of contents and I did not expect it to go that far, but I'm very happy it did because I really like that cosplay. So this article in general talks about um, kind of creativity with cosplay and tips on how, kind of making your own cosplays uh, more cute and pastel and fun if you want to get outside like the straight accuracy route and you want to do fun things that are pastel and cute. And we all give different tips. They ask us questions such as how do you determine the design to use and the accessories? Uh, if we have any tricks we want people to know, which you will have to read the magazine to get our special secret tips and tricks. I don't know why I did that. Um, basic mistakes people make, um, any general preferences that we personally have on character design and aesthetic. It is a super fun article and I am super happy about it. And I'm just like in here. Oh, also, people ask me questions. I need to look at that. <laughs> so a couple of general questions I was asked is, um, is it difficult to piece together looks that have um, fairy K type aesthetics? And that was asked by... How bikers eat their skeddy? I hope I said that right. Um, interesting username. So I would say that uh, generally no, because Fairy K has like one set color scheme of like pastel vomit and then you can kind of just like throw all of your, there is like um, a reason to the chaos, like balance and stuff. But I would say that Fairy K is one of the easier styles for me at least. Maybe one day I will do a video on how to do that. But we do talk a little bit about accessories in here. If you want me to do, a lot of these questions were more fashion oriented. So if you guys want me to do like a fashion 101 Q&A type thing at some point, uh, let me know in the comments as well and maybe I'll do that. Um, how much of my outfits do I tend to make and how much do I tend to buy? That was not really answered in here as much. Um, personally, I prefer to make my outfits if I can. But if I'm just doing a casual, fun, like, J-Fashion cosplay, I will usually just buy my outfits. If I'm doing, like, a pastel version of a character, then I will make it more. Plus, making things is just fun, but also if I'm doing an outfit, I can just pull things out of my closet, which is easier and cheaper, but whatever. We are all just kind of, like, in here, loose. Hello, that's, that's Haru and I, again. That's crazy, wow. I'm in this. I'm still, this still doesn't like feel real to me, but I am. That's really cool. I'm very happy. Ah, convention survival kit. Deodorant, please. Um, also water, which is good because I have been at cons where people have passed out before uh, due to lack of food and water. Please drink water. <laughs> Sewing kit, power bank. I don't own a power bank. I should get one. Eye care, first aid kit, sanitizer. Yes, please. Con plague is like not cute. Con plague is not kawaii. Please bring hand sanitizer. Snacks and makeup essentials. Also for VIP members, they got a convention survival kit that like came with it and it was super cute. And uh, yes, it is adorable. So. VIP members have a con survival kit now, that's super cool. If you subscribe to the VIP membership, you can get fun gifts with your magazines. Tootie Tart! She is the best. I love her so much. She is super fun. Also, Animal Crossing art. Animal Crossing 2019 can't come soon enough. Here's Pixie's article, which she talks more about in her video, but again, the interview front page thingies are so cute and I cannot get over them. They are destroying my heart with cute. I love them so much. And she talks about, she does talk about cute tattoos though, which is super cool because I have actually been thinking about getting a cute, fun Sailor Moon themed tattoo for a while now. And it is very, very encouraging to read her article about it. OTQ apparel. Um, I'm not gonna say anything now, but uh, keep an eye out on my channel for more fun OTQ related stuff in the near future.
And by that I mean in August. So kind of near. This is a section I have been incredibly excited about. Um, it's a joke. I am a big, big, big proponent of not taking your fashion style too seriously because then you get bored and then you don't have fun and literally what is the point of wearing weird clothes if you are bored of them all the time. And this is just a whole article on like meme styles in Jade fashion, which is very good. Um, I was first introduced to Dad K at Magical Girl Day last year and <laughs> they were literally one of the highlights of that convention the Dad K group. So, um, Dad K is in here, as well as some other meme styles, but, um, there's Dad K with dad jokes required, Cowboy K, or Yeehaw K, or apparently Yumakawa Yeehaw. That is a great name. Um, I should really, really get in on this style because I do live in, like, Yeeville, and I, I don't, I don't want to own real cowboy boots or a real cowboy hat, but also, like, it's essentially, like, illegal here. My dad has joked about that for a while, for years, but it's essentially illegal here not to own, like, cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. So if I get fun, cute, kawaii pastel ones, then I can justify it. So I will keep that in mind. Maybe. If I can afford that. <laughs> and also, finally, trash K. Um... So, I am living for this just garbage aesthetic right now. It reminds me a lot of, um, who am I thinking of? Cami Pomeranian on Instagram. Sorry, my mind just completely blanked. This seems like her kind of style. So, uh, yes, meme styles, 11 out of 10 would recommend. Do not take your fashion self too seriously. These are great and I am in love. Ooh, and there's a quiz. Are you a J fashion expert? I actually purposefully skipped past this part in Pixie's video so I could take the quiz myself. So, what is the name of the iconic street snap magazine that started in the late 90s? Is it Fruits, Tokyo Fashion, Gothic, Lolita Bible, or K-Club? Hmm, well, one of these things is not like the others. I wanna say it's Fruits, but I'm not sure. <laughs> We're gonna go with Fruits. Uh, what meme did Kawaii Ambassador Misako Aoki start in 2015? A. I have the power of God and anime on my side. B. Praying to Manasama. I butchered that so bad. Let's go back. Praying to Manasama. C. Baimo Brand. Or D. Most Embarrassing Behavior. So I know Baimo Brand is um, from Deer Stalker Pictures. Still, still slaps, just saying. Um, I have the power of God and anime side on my side is a vine. Uh, most- I don't actually know where Praying to Manasama is from, but I'm gonna go with Most Embarrassing Behavior because I remember when that came out and it was very funny. Three. There were three main styles that emerged at the beginning of Harajuku fashion. Which of the following is not one? A. Visual K. B. Menheta. C. Decora. Or D. Lolita. I'm gonna go with Menheta because I think that's a more recent style. Four. Who is the creator of famous decor brand 6% Doki Doki? A. Kanata. B. Haruka Kurabayashi, C. Sebastian Matsuda, or D. Mr. Yan. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, C. Sebastian Matsuda. Five. Which of the following have been contents of a body line lucky pack? A. Two left shoes, B. Mr. Yan body pillow, C. 17 detachable sleeves and no blouse, or D. All of the above. That is all of the above. Those detachable sleeves haunt my nightmares. Okay, so my camera stopped recording without telling me. That's super exciting. Um, what you missed is that I did get a 10 out of 10 on the J Fashion Expert quiz, which means I am in fact a J Fashion Expert, and that I should pass on my knowledge to newer folks and see if they have any fresh ideas, and also that I am a veteran who has sipped enough tea to drown myself, and that's absolutely true. Um, anyway, so uh, my son Miles is in this. This art is beautiful. Mori Oreo has blessed us all. Um, what else is in here that I skipped over? Because I need to finish this up quick because my camera is both dying and almost out of memory. There's a fun comic. Um, there is a good, good page for how to get your work into the K-Club. If you submit it at thekclub.com, sorry, 
It is the K dot club. I got that wrong slash advertisement and prices start at 15. You can advertise. They're also looking for artists and contributors and applications for that are open and you can check that out on their website. I believe they have a con report that is super cool and it features a couple of cons that I go to or am going to later this year, including Magical Girl Day, which is fantastic and has a 4.5 out of 5 rating and Onicon, which is also excellent and has a five-star rating. Both of those are very nice, low-key cons. There is also, um, let's see, Anime Expo has three out of five. AkashiCon has five stars. I wish I could go to that, but I can't, and I'm very sad. That as I, That's actually starting tomorrow as of filming. God, I wish I was there. Uh, Teco has five stars. Paradiso, Paradiso has 4.5 out of five. Akon has four, Orisu Fashion Market, I did go to that, it is a wonderful non-anime convention thing that you should absolutely go to, has four out of five, and anime, Matsuri, negative 1,000 out of five, don't go there, it is overpriced and poorly organized, and that doesn't even begin to mention the harassment scandals, just don't do it. Um, sorry I'm rushing, uh, coordinate contest, that's very cool, look at all of these cuties who entered their, uh, coordinate contest, I love seeing creative fashion, it is so cool and so fun, um, if you want to enter their coordinate contest, do something fun and spooky, hashtag kclub and hashtag kcordcontest. That is super cool. You should enter. I wish I had more time to give more details on that, but I don't because I'm a fool. And then there is the thank you page. I am super, super honored to have been a part of this because look at all of the amazing people that are in this. Hello, there's me. Hi, that's me. Everyone in this was amazing. Um, I wish I had more time to talk about this, but... I am so honored to be among all of these super cool people. Hello, that's great, yes. And then they have a list of the things that you got in the VIP pack and also a sticker from Sugary Symbiote and a print from Kali from OdaQ. And that is all I have time for. I think this one okay? I tried my best. Please let me know how I did, what you think, if you want to see more fashion related videos. Uh, not just fashion related videos, but what kind of fashion related videos specifically you want to see. And now I have to stop because my camera's going to die. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye! I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my supporters on Patreon, CJ, Mary, and Nick. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. It means the world to me. And don't forget, if you support me on Patreon, you can have your name here after videos too. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you next time.